Hi, this is Sheila Farrell from zingmedia.com. Welcome to my video guides on design, development and marketing for the internet and mobile. Welcome to Zing Media Tutorials. In this lesson we're going to look at creating CSS shortcuts. As you become more familiar with CSS, it is good to create shortcuts. It makes your page quicker to edit and will improve the overall download of the page. This tutorial will be followed by further examples that will be really useful in your website production. In this lesson we'll start with the padding property. So I'm going to refer back to the box model just to remind us that the property starts at the top, moves to the right, bottom and then the left. So if we were to change the div selector to have padding say 0 10 thank you for zero, watching this is another video guides on design development and marketing for internet and no mobile top. continue at www.zingmedia.com no forward slash video pixels on the left we could easily achieve the same thing by doing the following by doing the following you're adding no pixels at the top and bottom and you're adding 10 pixels on the left and the right. However, if I wanted to have 10 pixels around the whole thing, I would do the following. So by adding 10 pixels to the padding, it would be the same as doing padding 10 pixels, 10 pixels, 10 pixels, 10 pixels. So these are some really useful shortcuts that you can do. We're going to be adding further lessons on different shortcuts that will be also useful in your website production.